Hello, my name is Paul Siegel, and I'm going to make a very brief introduction to financial structure and strategy. This is a program that uh, we have offered many times around the world, and uh, pretty much in every major financial center. The program is focused on helping a commercial, corporate, and or investment banker, particularly a relationship manager, understand how to think like their client. It's an excellent course for uh, really taking a view on how to think like your client. The fundamentals of the course are pretty much broken down into this one slide, or distilled, I should say, into this one slide, and then we explode the slide into discussions on each of these major components, and this is what we call the financial structure and strategy framework. If you look in the upper left corner where it says macro factors, you'll see this is a uh, way in which we help start uh, the relationship manager start to think about what are the overall industry and economy factors that affect their client. We then dig into the life cycle. Where are the company's business lines in the life cycle of its um, existence? What are the strategic, strategic cho choices that it makes? What are the financial choices? And how do those strategic and financial choices impact the company and its own dynamics. Looking at the company dynamics, we need to obviously understand who are the decision makers, because there are many, and what are the business and financial issues they face. Is this an individual entrepreneur? Is it a closely held, com held company? Is it a company that's uh, equity sponsor backed? And what are the business and financial issues they face? And how do those issues impact cash flow and volatility? and what are the operating and financial leverage issues that the company has. All of these drive to what is often uh, the major focus of any company, what is the optimal capital structure? How does the capital structure reflect what the shareholders value? What are the shareholders looking for? The owners, and often I should say the stakeholders. So before we ever get to, as a banker, thinking about what solutions and products, if you will, or services that the company can offer, what is the issue that drives the company's um, owners? Is it the company's amount of liquidity the company has? Is it the cost of capital, earnings per share, cash in the bank, equity? Um, there are myriad of ways to look at these criteria and what the most important things are for shareholders. Of course, then we can begin, once we understand what are the drivers of the economy, the life cycle of the business, the company dynamics, and the shareholder value, we can begin to look at what optimal capital structure might be suitable for this company and therefore solutions, whether they be business solutions often handled by investment bankers or corporate bankers and commercial bankers handling financial solutions. Of course, each of these requires an understanding of each of these product areas and of course the product choices that help create the solution and the market conditions that drive those. That is to say, what is the shape of the yield curve? What's the cost of capital? What are the credit spreads? What do the equity markets look like today? What are investors looking for? Is this the kind of company and the kind, kind of product that a company, that an investor might be interested in? Swap spreads, foreign exchange, volatility, all these are dependent on a lot of issues underlying the company and its own structure and ownership, but also what's going on in the market today. Now, I'm not gonna get into the, all the details around this, but I think it's a very good high level view of what a banker needs to think about to sit in the shoes of their clients. I hope this has been helpful. For more information about our workshops, you can visit us at starweaver.com, in this case, forward slash course underscore category, forward slash finance. Here you'll see a wide range of programs that we offer, all of which can be customized for you and for your teams. If you'd like to reach out to us, please do so at the contact information you see on the screen. And for the specific course I mentioned, here is the link below.